Through this review of the life of Andalusians, the state of their rulers, and the stages that they went through, it becomes clear to us that the rule of the Muslims in Andalusia extended from 95 on to 897 on, that is, nearly 8 centuries, 800 years and more. Andalusia went through several stages, over nearly 8 centuries, and the details are as follows, the era of governors, from AD 714 to 755, the era of Abd al-Rahman home and the one state, from the year 755 to 1009 AD, the reign of Taifa kings, 1010 to 1090 AD, the Almoravid era, from 1090 to 1146 AD, the reign of the Amahads, from 1146 to 1238 AD, the era of the Kingdom of Granada and the end of Muslim rule in Andalusia, AD 1238 to 1492. Andalusia is the name that the Muslims gave to the Iberian Peninsula in 711 AD. After the Muslims entered it under the leadership of Tariq bin Ziyad and Musa bin Nusayr and annexed it to the Umayyad Caliphate, and the presence of Muslims continued in it until the fall of the Kingdom Granada in 1492. The present of Muslims in our days is not different from what happened to Andalusia, what they reached was the result of weakness and disunity, so the defeat came that dismantled Andalusia and drove the Muslims out of its land, and Andalusia is like any Muslim land that lives in the feelings of Muslims, they are eager for that day to come to bring together Muslims and unify their lands. Most of the people of our time are almost ignorant of the history of Andalusia, whose rule lasted in the hands of Muslims for several centuries, and it went through several stages of division and unification, betrayals, heroics, the flourishing of knowledge, construction, and civilization. For how long did the rule of Muslims last in Andalusia?